This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon. It's Thursday, August 24th. My name is Mike Maroney, and I am coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metals Studio. Let's talk precious metals. We've had some very strong action in the metals markets across the board as palladium is hitting highs that we've last seen all the way back in 2000, trading well above 900. Platinum has rallied off the mid 850s to retest the $1,000 area, and gold is banging up against key resistance right at that $1,300 psychological resistance and 1307 key resistance. And silver tested 1730 just the other day, and now we're in the process of experiencing a little bit of back and fill. Now, the big news this week is the event that's taking place in Jackson Hole, and this is an event sponsored by the U.S. Fed, where all of the top central bankers from around the world will converge on Jackson Hole to talk about the current state of the economy. Now, I find it interesting when you put all of the central bankers together, I wonder if they discuss the situation that has developed since 2008. Let's go back to 2008 when we were in the midst of a financial crisis caused by debt. And what we decided to do to offset this crisis was create more paper and have the central banks buy up all the debt. And let me give you an example. Back in 2008, the total balance sheets of all central banks combined was right at $6 trillion. Since 2008, the total balance sheet of all central banks combined now exceeds $20 trillion. We have experienced the greatest expansion, the greatest monetary expansion in history, the likes of which no one would have even considered possible in the last nine years. And many people are wondering, why aren't we seeing inflation? Well, it's quite simple. We were in a bit of a deflationary environment, so the central banks decided that they would use something called quantitative easing. And this takes place when they print money and then actually purchase the debt from the government. And in essence, what they've done is expand the monetary, um, overall monetary supply. So now we have this massive increase of money, yet we're not experiencing the type of inflation many people thought we would. But all you really have to do is look around. Where are real estate prices? Where are stock prices? Both are at all time highs. Now, what will happen inevitably is we will see what is known as sector rotation, and people will look for the undervalued asset. And right now, I believe precious metals fits that bill almost to a T. Gold's high back in 2011 was well over $19 currently trading just below 1300 Silver's high was right around $50. We're currently trading just below $17. Now what we have sitting out on the horizon is the potential end to the expansion of balance sheets, and no one knows what this quantitative tightening period will do. They've added 13 plus trillion dollars to the balance sheet. How are they going to logistically exit out of that position without causing major turmoil in the market? Many of the top pundits believe that the Fed, which is currently sitting on $4.5 trillion worth of assets on their balance sheet, is going to potentially start selling those assets in September. I don't think it's really going to be possible. I think what we will see in the next two to three years is an additional expansion of the federal balance sheet and we could literally get up into the eight to ten trillion dollar level. With our debt at twenty trillion dollars, with our total tax revenue at three point three trillion dollars, which is a record based on a GDP of eighteen point six five trillion, there's really no way we're going to be able to pay this back unless we use classic government technique, and that's called monetization. 
and that's when literally you double the money supply, you cut the value of paper in half, and in essence what you're doing at that point is paying the debt back with money that's been monetized, but the people that lose are the people that are holding on to money and haven't diversified into undervalued assets like precious metals. Now may be one of the greatest times in history to own precious metals. Don't wait, the next three years are going to be very interesting. And if you wanna buy low and sell high, the first thing you need to do is buy low. And we have that opportunity right now. Give us a call today. Thank you.